Welcome to Cast Clean Air Services AG, part of Particle Measuring Systems since 2016. We are the full solutions provider for clean room contamination monitoring. We have been ensuring patient safety by supporting our customers since 1989. Today, we show how physical parameters are recorded for requalification in an operating room. These include air velocities, air volumes, air exchange rates, etc. This video shows you exactly which data and information are required to determine the values for ISO 14644-3. First, the required room data are recorded, length, width, and height. If there are recesses, these must also be documented accordingly. From this, we first calculate the room volume. Now we turn to the air outlet element, in this case, a laminar flow. The size of the outlet element must be determined in order to be able to determine the required number of measuring points. The number of measuring points and their position must also be documented accordingly. Ideally, they should be evenly distributed over the air outlet element. As mentioned earlier, the air outlet element here is a laminar flow, or LF for short. This ensures that the air is guided downward evenly, i.e. laminarly. Usually, the air velocities to be measured are in a range of 0 0.20 m over s and 0 0.50 m over s. Therefore, the measurement is usually carried out with a hot wire anemometer. The measured values are of course documented according to the positions. Following the recording of the measured values, they are evaluated. The first step is to determine the mean value of the air velocity which is calculated by dividing the sum of the individual measured values by the number of measured values. With the help of the mean value, the air volume can be calculated. For this purpose, the mean value, the area of the laminar flow, and 3,600 are multiplied together. Now, the air exchange rate must be determined from this. To do this, the air volume is divided by the room volume. Contact us now to get started. In the next part, we will deal with the filter system integrity test.